get a call earlier this morning for a Uber driver, taxi driver, who had a snake in his car, and it's been there for a week, and he wanted me to try all my tricks to get it out. Oh, this is a total cluster getting to the driver here. And anyway, a customer of his was as pissed as a fart, and um, <clears throat> after he let him out, the guy says, oh, I've accidentally let my snake go. Apparently it's an $800 snake in his uh, car, and oh man, this is such a drama. Look at this. Now yeah, it's going to be stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> and I did all the tricks, turned the heater on, tried everything to get the snake out, and just as we were leaving, they called and said it's come out, come out of the vent. But, um, and as you can see, the drama just to get through. But I'm also getting a few other calls as well, and I'm supposed to be up Mount Tambourine and Mount and Talabudra Valley at the same time. So I need to be like God and everywhere at once. This is such a drama to get in and out of this shithole. Yeah, but put the torch on it and don't force it backwards and there's the torch. I know, I know. <laughs> I swear they moved in a guy and there it is. Lucky. We just pulled over to start talking to somebody else on the phone. He came out of the vent and then he, he's gone uh, down there and down behind that seat over the other side. I see him. You see him? Yep. Python. Yeah, he's just a carpet python. Yes. Yeah. He's not worth eight hundred dollars though. No. Yeah. yeah, it looks like one of the ones I bred recently. Eh? It looks like one that I bred recently and sold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I get put him back in the car. Yeah.